Okay, might just take you through a quick overview of some of the document generation and content creation capabilities of Nintex plus the electronic signatory and digital signatory side of things. Uh, so really trying to negate the, the lag in print, sign, scan and email. Uh, if people don't have printers, then having to go to office supply stores uh, and do the same process. We know from we know from what's happening in, in print supply and hardware that there is a decline in that market, which means there's probably less devices in people's homes. Um, and really, it's these documents that get sent as an attachment uh, that need to be completed, that need to be emailed back, so on and so forth. So the user experience is pretty low. Uh, and one such example, client authorization, but also things like NDAs, proposals, invoices, contracts, HR documents, so on and so forth. So we can actually really easily complete the blanks and, and, and keep the process alive. So what we're going to do is take this templated dummy client authorization document, send the uh, information from a uh, public anonymous or, uh, or an end user through either a mobile device or a desktop form, merge the two together and get it signed and get it stored in minutes as opposed to potentially days, sometimes even weeks. So we're gonna start with a workflow. Uh, we're gonna create a form for the data capture and a workflow to process the content. So the first thing we need is a form. Uh, this one won't be too pretty. We're gonna, anyone with the URL, uh, design the form. So this means that this form can live not only embedded in a website, but also sent out via email and we need some controls and we're also going to uh, quickly put a label and some imagery in. So we want a label, what's the actual form for? So this could be my um, client authorization form. Let's give it a heading. And that'll do nicely. And then let's put an image in so that we know the company that's actually, this form is for. Okay, it's quite big, let's just shrink it down one. We need some input information, so we need name, address, email, and we want the signature as well. We're gonna put that in where that logo is, so we'll go with text control for my name. Uh, let's make that required, and let's put a little placeholder in, so your name goes here. Uh, we also need an email address, so we'll just drag in an email control. Let's put that required as well. We can put custom error messages and so on. We're also going to need an address. Let's make that one required and let's start small but resize and we'll get a signature too. Okay. And we'll make that required also. So we've got a form. Uh, we can do things like redirect after they've completed it. We can protect it with Google Recapture, so on and so forth. So we might actually just go on index.com, make things a little bit friendlier on the back end. Uh, if we want, we can add styling. Uh, not everybody's fans of the Nintex Orange, but uh, for the sake of the demo, let's just keep it as is. And my form has been complete. So that's my front end done. So when the, the send that form out, uh, people can actually fill that information in. So the first thing that we actually need to do is generate the document. And um, we do that with our document generation, generate document action. So the document template is gonna have to live somewhere. This template uh, can't live on my desktop. Uh, it's gonna have to live in, an, in a OneDrive, a Google Drive box or a Dropbox environment. Uh, but before we put it up there, we actually want to add all that information. So we wanna merge the information in. So we do that using this tagger. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the signature and that's just called signature and it's a file variable which comes in from the form called signature. We're gonna connect that to OneDrive. We have a OneDrive connection already to my Microsoft OneDrive location. Template isn't uploaded yet, so we'll just add those tags. Open up the tagger, open up Word. So we've got the tag and we've got Word opened up. So what we just need to do is grab the tags for when that workflow runs to merge the two together. So let's just go with name, address, 
email. And we just want to overlay this logo. So we'll just grab the image signature tag. And we're just going to embed that in there. So selection pane and change that to signature. Uh, the last thing that we're going to grab is the date. So whenever this actual workflow action runs, the current date, uh, we're going to grab that. Uh, we can tweak the date format. Uh, we can make it friendly. We can make it US, English, whatever the requirement is. And these tags here correspond to the next stage, which is the Adobe sign part. So we'll save that document. We'll move that out of the way and we'll upload that to OneDrive, which is here. So we'll open up OneDrive so we can store that document. We have a template folder. That could be Google Drive, Box, Dropbox. The workflow action is going to pick that up regardless and we'll put the word document over the top of this one. Replace. Okay, so we've got our template in there. So the workflow is gonna look for the template once we tell it to. So configure the template. And the output name. Now, because we're capturing some unique information about the person that is signing the form, uh, we can make this the um, an actual unique named uh, document. So you could call this my name client authorization. And where does it live? Where is it? Where are we going to put it? Well, we'll just put it in a, a, a demo folder as an example. Okay. We need to tell the workflow where that's now been stored once it's been created. So we'll just create a couple of variables here. Okay. And insert. And then we need to get that file because we're now going to send this to a second type of signature. We're going to send this to an um, uh, an Adobe sign or an in-text sign powered by Adobe sign. Uh, so let's just get that file back from OneDrive. And we'll store that in the workflow as a file. So now we need to instruct Adobe sign to send that on for a second stage signature or send it back to the person for electronic signature, digital signature whatever the requirement is, but we'll show two stages of signature here. The first one comes from the form and gets embedded in the document. The second one sends the document out for digital signature once it's been uh, created. So we'll maybe hard code this. So we'll send that to myself, uh, the second stage signature. I'm just a signer and I've already validated through email. Let's give that agreement a name. Again, it just can just be anything. Please sign the attached. Uh, days until expiry. Let's give them three days before we follow up. Any reminders, redirect, and so on. And what's the document that we want signed? It's that bio variable that we just grabbed here. Now we need to match the uh, uh, a unique agreement ID up because what we're going to do is take it back into a OneDrive as a signed document. And that's where the store signed documents comes in. So once the signature action has been completed, we need to store it somewhere. Match up that agreement ID and we'll put it back into OneDrive nice and nice and straightforward. Uh, we have a signed folder in OneDrive. And we could grab the path to send an email on. So if you want to know when someone has actually signed that document back, you can say send an email. It's been signed by John Smith, so on and so forth. We'll just leave it as is. So pretty straightforward, create a form, 
capture some information about a user. We could upload documents uh, if you need proof of identification and, and that will get attached along with this. We're signing on the form. We're embedding that in a standardized contract that's securely stored somewhere. We don't have 20 different versions of it doing the rounds and then we're going to get it electronically signed. So let's just publish. And this is my uh, client authorization. Let's just go client off. Publish. So that's going to generate two bits of information for me. I'm going to get a URL that I can obviously send out as a link in email. Um, I can push people directly to it. I can send it to a uh, text message to click and so on, or get the code to put it into my website uh, if, I, if I have a public website. So let's fill it in. So name goes here, I'll just use my own name. I'll use a demo account here. Address. And sign. Now the signature, we could squeeze that box up, but for the sake of demo, pretty big real estate. And submit. So that form is now away. It's going to do the redirect for me back to my website, um, ready to now generate that document. Now we can jump to OneDrive and we said files demo. So there's one we did earlier, John Smith. Uh, we should see it come in in just a second as the workflow will have started. We can sanity check that as well. So through workflow, we can actually have a look and make sure that that workflow started without any errors. So we can have a look at my uh, auth, client auth it is running. Close this down. So at the generate document, that's already been completed. So we should have that unique document there in OneDrive. Uh, if we just do a quick refresh. There we go. So Chris Ellis client authorization already been generated as a PDF. So we should have that standard Word document with all the information in there. So we've got that info. Let's just zoom a little bit. Just so we can see. Uh, yep, we've embedded that where it was normally blank. Here's all the stuff. And there's my signature. And we've got that information in there. So we've got this in OneDrive, but it's now gone out for electronic signature or digital signature to um, another person or back to the same person. But just to show you the ability to embed a, doc a signature in a document or get it digital signature with the audit trail, the legally binding stuff and so on. Same document, same information that's been merged, but now Adobe sign has taken over uh, and we're getting that sort of belt and braces approach, the ability to audit trail it, to see the history of the sign actions, uh, to terminate the signature if required. So we've embedded that uh, date control and we can now sign on the device. So I can draw, I can send it to a mobile, uh, I can add an image or I can simply type my name, which is gonna sign the document. and click to sign. Now the nice thing about this is I'm going to get a version of that document sent back to me as the sign activity. So here's that document. It's been signed. I've got the, the whole digital signatory audit trail as part of that. And it also goes back to my OneDrive for storage. So I'm really zoomed in here. Let's just zoom out uh, back to that signed folder. And there we go. So that's my document, my final document here. So it's been filled in from a standardized blank template uh, with, with all the plain English, the rules and regulations, any appendixes and templates and branding and so on in there. But then we just leave the content side blank. So the, the bit that we want to grab from the form, we completed the form. Uh, so we got the end users form uh, signatory from a form front end that could be grabbed from a mobile device. But we also got a digital signature through the Adobe sign function. So both available, uh, pretty quick uh, workflow to actually build out. 
um, only a few steps in there. And, and that's, that's how we would do content creation and document generation. Thank you.